Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am back tonight with a super quick project and another variation that you can do for your hot cocoa packs for your craft fair. And I've been thinking about maybe you doing a different kind of variation instead of using envelopes and embellishing them. I thought I'm just going to make quick little pockets. So that's what I did. Look at these y'all. How sweet and cute are these? They are cute. And this way, you've enclosed them in the cellophane and they stay nice and clean and things won't fall out and it comes with a nice little Christmas greeting on the front. Okay, let's just quickly show you how to do this, y'all. So quick, so, so quick. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my paper and I'm gonna cut it five and a half by eight and a half. So I got five and a half, and I've got eight and a half. Okay, that's all the cutting you're gonna need to do, y'all. Now you're gonna grab your scoreboard, and you are going to score your paper in half, which is at four and a quarter. So you can fold. I love the poinsettias on this paper. It's super cute. I love this vintage paper. Oh my goodness, so cute, vintage paper. Okay, so now it looks like a card, but we're gonna make it into a pocket. So, what you need to do is, this is the front. You're gonna take the front and you're gonna line it up on your scoreboard to two and three fourths and just make yourself a little mark. Then you're gonna take the fold and you're gonna take the score line or the little dot that you put on here and you're gonna line it up straight. And since I don't have a diagonal board, I just drew myself a line over here so I could so I could see what I'm doing. You're gonna line it up. You're gonna give yourself a nice crease so you can have this little flat fold over. You don't wanna cut this off, y'all. It's so cute. You want to leave it on there. It's just, it just makes it cute to me. These are so easy. I'm super excited about these, y'all. And I keep bumping my, my camera. I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay. I'm going to give myself some score tape or some red tape. You want some good, sturdy adhesive because you're going to be putting your hot cocoa in here. So you wanna make sure that you've, that you've got it where it's strong enough where nothing tears open. Okay, so let's get this all closed up here. I like using double-sided paper on this. That way you have this different color flipped over on the front. And um, it just makes it cuter to me. Gonna do some adhesive and get that down, and y'all have got my pocket. So next thing, the hardest thing ever, is sticking your hot cocoa in, sticking your candy cane in, taking your twine. I've got some red and green. I've got some green and white, and some red and white too. I'll just pull it out. And you're gonna take your twine. And you're gonna start wrapping it around. You can use ribbon like I did on the other one. Tie yourself a little knot on here or bow. You could add bells on the front of this if you like, whatever you want. To and from tag, whatever, whatever you think looks great. So I've got my twine. I like to kind of pull it apart a little bit. And then I'm going to just take a little, little encouragement card or a Christmas greeting. And I think I'm going to go with this super cute one right here. So let me get that one cut. See if I can just cut this without using a paper cutter. We survived in the past without paper cutters. We used good old scissors. I think I can do it this time. 
Okay. Y'all, I told you this is super easy and quick. Now, all you need to do is pop it down the front. You can round your corners, use any kind of thing to make your corners a different shape if you like. And I'm kind of stuck on this little angle corner rounder thingy. And just pop it down here. Now you have a delicious little hot cocoa with candy cane and a Christmas greeting all in one. And it took you all of five minutes. You can't go wrong with that, y'all. Okay, so the packaging that I'm gonna use to put these in, this one measures five by sevens and it fits these perfectly. Um, so, and I think I either got these on Amazon or clearbags.com, but these are the adhesive, uh, they have adhesive on the top and they're five by seven. So if you're interested in these, just look for that size. And then I like to put the flap at the bottom on the back. I'm gonna push this in. Flip it over, see it comes, it fits in there just perfectly. That way, then everything is protected, nothing falls out. And, look at that y'all, how cute is that? I, I really do like this so much better than even doing the envelope kind. I like this a lot. This is the kind I'll be doing. So anyway, what do y'all think? I'm thinking for these because I've added the plastic packaging in all these. Um, I'm thinking that I probably will do $1.50 on these. I think that that's fair. And um, yeah, a doll, I won't do a dollar on these because I'm using a little bit more supplies. And you want to make sure you're making something out of it. Even though it took you 10 minutes total start to finish to make it, you still got to think of your supplies. So I think $1.50 is, is fair. So anyway... What do y'all think? I told y'all this was fast. I hope you've enjoyed it. And y'all, I'll be back soon with another idea. And I hope you're having a great night. And I will see you later in my next video. Bye, y'all.